Hey everybody, welcome to Cajun Living and Cooking. My name's Rodney Dupree, and today we got a really special show for y'all. It's the sixth annual South Louisiana Crawfish Ball and Contest Festival. And I'm gonna tell you what, this thing's getting bigger every year. It's a rainy day, but we're still having a good time and it's all for the kids. We got a crawfish balling contest, we got jambalaya contest, we got crackling contest, we got the mini pot, we got all kind of food, we got an eating contest, we got car show, it's too much to even name. So y'all hang on, Cajun Living and Cooking's fixing to start right about now. Tide line, trout line, sitting on a pipeline, waiting for the sun to shine. Snap beans, red beans, cornbread and mustard greens, that's how we live and it sure feels fine. Well, you can't change us, that's the way we know. Cajun people live like they did long ago. So join the fun, live off the land, cause there ain't nothing better than a Louisiana man. Line, trap line, sitting on a pipeline, waiting for the sun to shine. Snap beans, red beans, cornbread, mustard greens, that's how we live, and it sure feels fine. All right, y'all, we're out here in Barnes 5 and 6 at Lamar Dixon, and uh, all the cooks are out here. We got them in both barns stacked up, and all the festivities are next door in the other barns, but uh. All the cooks are out here getting it started this morning. As you can see, uh, we got a good crowd out here. We got the jambalaya cooks mixed with the crackling cooks, the crawfish cooks, and the mini pot cooks are all out here. And I tell you what, it's going to be a good old day. It's a rainy day, but I'm going to tell you what, we're going to go talk to some of the cooks, and uh, it's all for a good cause. It's for dreams come true. Dreams Come True of Louisiana is a nonprofit organization that grants dreams to Louisiana children between ages 3 and 18 with a life threatening illness. Dreams Come True was founded in 1982 by seven families in Denham Springs with a goal of providing dreams to children. All funding was initially provided by those families. Dreams Come True is proud to have one paid employee and provides dreams throughout the state of Louisiana. Dreams Come True provides an average of 65 to 70 dreams per year. Visit our website for more information. DCTOFLA.com. Here it comes again the Ascension Chapter of CCA's annual fundraiser banquet, which is the largest in the state. Thursday, September 19th, at the Lamar Dixon Expo Center. Doors open at 5 30 and it's sure to be a fun night celebrating conservation, great food, new live auction items, and more raffles than we can list. The banquet is a great place to network, entertain clients, reward employees, or just have fun with your family or your fishing buddies. Tickets and tables still available. Together, we can make a difference. Whiskey River, take my mind. Man, where'd you get those Mr. Beats from? Hey, it's the New Hunting and Fishing Store. New Hunting and Fishing Store? New Hunting and Fishing Store? New Hunting and Fishing Store? Yeah, on Highway 44 in Gonzales. It's Ascension Living and Outdoors. They carry a full line of fresh and saltwater baits and tackle, including Matrix, Voodoo Shrimp, Missile, Zoom, and local baits like Delta Lures and Humdinger. And the hunting section is loaded with calls, scents, knives, attractants, and much more. They even carry deer candy and Nate's buck bait. Oh yeah, ladies, there's even a gift shop. All right, y'all, here we are. We're drawing for sacks this morning. Everybody's got to draw a card. The red card is going to match up with the blue card and may the best sack win. So let's get the names and where they're from. Fabian Frelish, Denham Springs. Donald Plummer, Prairieville. Ronald Bottoms, Gondalas. I'm gonna go with this lucky bad boy right here. Garen Cavalier, Gonzalez. Mike Vignette, Lutcher. That's your lucky card. Well, hmm. Alan Reeshard, Galvez. 
That's it, right? Joker, boy. King, baby. I'll put that Joker in. Luke Fletcher from Gonzales, Louisiana. Answer that. Uh, Justin Wilson from Gonzales, Louisiana. Justin Wilson, y'all. Yes, hey, we got guarantee right yes, there. Patrick Kenner from Paulina, Louisiana. Good luck. Thank you. Troy Wilford Walker. Good luck. Thank you. Paul G. Prairieville. Winner from last year, right here. We got the champion from last year. <laughs> John Thompson Livingston. Good luck. Appreciate it. Have a good one. Bill Bird, Prairieville. All right, bro. Good luck. See you, Hometown bro. right there. Right. Second runner up in Gonzales. Uh huh. Second. Pat Bell, Prairieville. Good luck to you. Christopher Clark, Dennis Springs. Give them hell. I'm going to try it, brother. Kevin Landry, Santa Mo. Santa Mo, right here. Santa Mo. Mike Bodoan from La Rose. Good luck, bro. All right. He come a long way to win. To I live in Walker, though. Oh. But I'm from La Rose. Gotcha, gotcha. <laughs> Tammany Caport, I'm representing the Superstop. All right, good luck. Jeff Carey, Gonzalez. Good luck, bro. All right. Hey, you got to draw a card. Get your card right here. Draw a card. Oh, oh, oh. I'm throwing it down. I think I'm going to go pick. Right. It's like battle. <laughs> Troy Landry, Donaldsonville. Donaldsonville. Shoot him. You got to look at number four. Thomas Higgins from Livingston. Livingston. Everybody getting represented today, Ray. Oh, man. They got them all. Jared with Outlaw Cooker cooking for Bearcom. All right, good luck, bro. I'm Angela King from Bathfitter. Good luck to you. Thank you. All right, here we go. Yeah. We're from Mama Nims. All right, good luck. What's up? Larry D's from Maringwin. Go Mar Tigers! Go Tigers from Maryland. I need, I need that in your Coach O voice. <laughs> I, can't, I can't do Tigers. <laughs> Jairus Burrell from Baton Rouge representing the Veluzo Companies. Go Tigers! Previous uh, winner. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> Got another Tiger fan right here. The sacks are getting low and the numbers are getting better. So the, uh, yeah, the number 10 was, was sitting on the ground. Was sitting on the ground? All right. Let, there's going to be an extra sack. Yeah, let's wait. Let's wait. Oh, hold on. You already said it. He's ready to draw. And the, he's got a ace of hearts. Look at there. Ace of hearts. What do we sign in with? Middle of that table. Oh, now. <laughs> Grant Malonson, Vasher, Louisiana. Previous winner. Yeah. All right. We got another winner right here. Drawing that five a club. You can keep them. Zeke Velor from Santa Mall. Santa Mall. Josh Johnson from Baton Rouge. Baton Rouge getting support out here. Two of them? One. One. Ace of Diamonds. Wayne Vadreen, Kaplan, Louisiana. Yes, sir. Kaplan. Uh, All right, Doug Alexis, Prairieville, the next winner. Prairieville. Oh, look at there. We like that. We like that. Prairieville getting support again. Britt Lesh from Lake Louisiana. Lake Louisiana. Mike Strong, Michael Strong, sent you magazine. Won two years ago. Came in third last year. We're going for second this year. <laughs> yes, indeed. Previous winner right here. He was going to have to throw the competition because he's got stuff to do, so I don't know if he's going to. King. The king is right can... after Ace. I mean, Look at here. We got one more. We got one more. Hey, Bears, Cage of Meats, and Walker. Louisiana. Walker, getting supported, bro. Yep. Pick a sack, any sack. All right, y'all made it over to one of the cooks that you all know, Mr. Snook Tribo. How's it going? 
Everything good, except for the weather. <laughs> yeah, Oh, and I hope the weather don't stop the folks from coming out, but you won the crackling the last two years, right? Yes, so it is. And you, y'all also, you got your son here, y'all cooking jambalaya this year. That's right, he, he wants to cook some jambalaya. He's, I'm, we kind of helping each other, you know. Gotcha. Now, now, is this rain or this moisture going to affect your cracklings? I prefer not because I find it makes them soft. You know, when you pop them, if you don't get them out of it, the moisture will, will soften them up. I prefer not cooking in it, but we can handle it. Now, you put uh, you put just salt on your cracklings? No. Well, like in uh, Boucherie's, uh, you can't use but salt, but right. we can use what we want. So uh, I do have a little pepper I put on them. Gotcha, yeah, gotcha. Salt and pepper, that's it. Hey, I'm going to wish you good luck. Okay, man, I appreciate it. I hope we have a good turnout. Me this too. straight now. All right, y'all. I made it over to another cook. Let's get his name and where he's from. Uh, Tanner Burke, and I'm from Gonzales. Now, your brother won the championship here last year. That's a fact. Last year, he is a champion. Now, uh, are you following his recipe, or you got some uh, some techniques he used, maybe? Or uh, we we normally cook. We learn together. Um, the recipe originated from him. Yeah. Which is my father. Uh huh. Uh, we've tweaked it over the years, but we we do the same thing. Uh, he's a better cook because he's got it more in his heart. Gotcha. Gotcha. I just do it because I like to cook. Gotcha. But uh, yeah, we. I'm going to get him this year. You got it, bro. Hey, good luck to you. Thank you, thank you. All right, y'all made it over to some more cooks. Let's get their names and where they're from. Hey, my name is BJ Silvis from Zachary, Louisiana. Frank Arisco from Denham Springs. Hey, I want to tell everybody out there, this is On-Site Medical, and they're a big sponsor of this out here. We couldn't have an event like this on a rainy day without good sponsors because we're going to come out in the good no matter what. Uh, so y'all in the crawfish balling contest? Yes, sir. We are just glad to be able to help out the Dreams Come True Foundation, and uh, hopefully we get some people some good crawfish out here today. Now, uh, do y'all have a secret to your crawfish? I mean, you got a secret seasoning, a secret sausage, a secret technique. What you got? Yeah, you know, we got a little grandpa's recipe, you know. So we got we got a little little dab of this and dab of that. We gonna put in there, but uh, they're pretty good. So awesome! Hey, hey, good luck to y'all. Thank you. All right, y'all got some more crackling cooks here, and uh, let's get their names and where they're from. Jamie Casey from Prairieville. Benji Burris here in Prairieville. Now they cooking for Fred's Amusement, y'all, and y'all have seen them on the show before. Uh, they do one of the top-notch cracklings out there. Uh, does 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 this weather affect your cracklings? Uh, it can. Yeah, it can. The humidity and the heat. Gotcha. Gotcha. Yeah. It's a pretty stiff competition out here today. Uh, you got any secrets up your sleeve, maybe? Mm, if I did, I wouldn't tell you. There we go, <laughs> right really there. Know. I'm going to cook the standard crackling I usually cook. Gotcha. Hey, good luck to y'all. Thank you, bro. All right, y'all made it over with some more cooks. Let's get their names and where they from. Uh, Justin, bro, supporting Eastman Chemical, St. Gabriel. Kurt Wentz uh, from St. Gabriel, Eastman Chemical. Now something, uh, they've been in it, I think every year y'all been in it. Uh, they're also a silver sponsor, and they come out every year and support this event, and they do good every year too. Uh, y'all both doing jambalaya this year, right? Right, we're both doing jambalaya. Normally we have two crawfish teams, but got a little turnaround fixing the kickoff, so uh, didn't have as much participation. But you got to keep Eastman going too. Oh, Eastman, yeah, we got to keep Eastman going so we can do this. So, um, But, yeah, we, uh, we're here every year. We also do a benefit on site at the plant with our own little contest. It all goes to uh, Dreams Come True. There we go, right there, y'all. And that's what makes this happen. I want to thank y'all for coming out. Thank you. All right, y'all made it over to some more cooks. Let's get their names and where they from. How you doing? I'm Paul Whitman from Thibodeau, Louisiana. Connie Hoppy from Prairieville, Louisiana. Justin Wilson from Gonzales, Louisiana. Justin Wilson. You know he can cook right there, I'm going to tell you. But what, what the people don't know is y'all are one of the sponsors. It's Briggs, right? Yes, sir, Briggs Equipment. And uh, like I was saying a while ago, this is one of the things that we can't, we can't have this without sponsorships. Because on a rainy day, we might not get the people, but at least we got the money to fund everything, and we're going to raise some money for the kids. Now, y'all cooking in the crawfish, so uh, what's the secret or what, what you got on these crawfish, man? It's all in the flavor, all in the flavor. 
All, it, all in the flavor. That's what Justin Wilson said. A little onion, maybe? A little. Yeah, some lemon. <laughs> there we go. Hey, good luck to y'all. Thank you. All Thank right, you. we appreciate it. Thank y'all. The new, completely renovated Fred's on the River Food and Mark, located at the Port Vincent Bridge, is now back open and better than ever. With biscuits, coffee, and sandwiches ready every morning at 4.30 to get you started. And a full breakfast menu from 6 a.m. to 10 a.m. featuring homemade hash browns, pancakes, eggs, and our country-style biscuits and gravy. Our newly renovated store has all your needs from local vendors, plus cold beer, lottery, gas, and tobacco. Try our new lunch and dinner menu featuring our famous boat launch burger, overstuffed New Orleans style press po' boys, 100% beef hamburgers, pizza, and by far the best onion strings you have ever tasted. So come by and enjoy Fred's on the River Food Mart, where we've come back bigger and better than ever, but we haven't lost our hometown feel. Junior's Meat Market has everything you need when you're going to the camp, tailgating, or planning dinner. We make our own cracklings, beef jerky, whole cut cheese, and sausage right here in the store. We also process deer and hogs. Junior's Meat Market has an abundance of groceries and frozen items which include crab cakes, fried oysters, tilapia, and more. We have daily meat specials and we cook plate lunches every other weekend. Stop by Junior's Meat Market today and bring home dinner. The Ultimate Escape Rooms Now currently located in Gonzales. Call and book your room now. With three rooms to choose from, the fun is never ending. Each room has a different level of difficulty to escape. Whether it's team building, family bonding, or just a group of friends having fun together. Kids 6 and under free, ages 7 to 11, 50% off, and 15% off all service members and immediate family. We are also locally owned and operated. Come see if you can escape. All right, y'all, we made it into the judging room with the Cracklins, and I got Ray Prado with me, and uh, he's the president of the Boucherie Festival. And uh, let's talk a little bit about these Cracklins, Ray. So uh, just like y'all's uh, jambalaya, this, uh, we do have a diverse group of, of, uh, of jambalaya cooks here. They, uh, we got some that got some, uh, some, some meat on them. Yeah. And, uh, and some of them, I mean, just they just look really good. So yeah. we got a good, a good uh, sample in here. So unlike the Boucherie Festival, where they use just salt, over here you can use any seasonings you want. You can use whatever seasoning they want. Yep. And they, uh, man, they got it. They came out good. So. And you being one of the judges, have you found your favorite yet? You believe? I did, but I can't tell you. Don't tell me. Don't tell me. <laughs> All right, y'all. We're gonna pick a winner soon. All right, y'all. Made it into the room with the jambalaya judging, and uh, I'm gonna tell you what. We got some diverse in here. We got from light to brown to 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 perfect. Uh, we got 13 in, and actually we're going to take 12 finalists. So uh, one unlucky guy is not going to make it into the finals. But uh, we're going to have more jambalaya being cooked. And I'm going to tell you what, some of these are some beautiful jambalaya. I, I, I'm not the I'm not a jambalaya judge, but I eat jambalaya, so uh, I know what I like. So uh, here it is. All the jambalayas, we're gonna get a winner. All right, y'all, we made it into the crawfish judging room, and looks like things are going good. I got Larry standing right here. Look, uh, I'm not judging. You're not judging, I'm but eating. but you just testing. I got to test. Make sure the judges don't get sick off of this good stuff, huh? Exactly, exactly. It's great, man. Great. Everyone, you tasted so far? Hell yeah, everyone brought it. They, they're delicious. Awesome, awesome. Let me. You want? Let me yeah, yeah. I really need one. Let me uh, let me mingle around while y'all uh, watching and see if we talking. How's things going? Y'all finding some good ones? Very good. Very good. Oh, yeah. I got a few favorites already. All right. Which ones you say were kind of great? Yeah. You like those? Josh, you finding good ones? Some spicy ones and some that have absolutely no flavor. Uh oh. No. Uh oh. That won't be in the top 12 if you got no flavor. Look, I got one to try. This has something different in it. I'll vote for that one. That's a good one. Ashley, this group over here, y'all finding your favorites yet? I think I'm getting there. I'm getting close. How many have you tried out of the 10 so far? I'm on number eight. All right. And y'all, y'all getting some good ones? Oh, man, we're working our way through. This is going to, this is great. This is a, <laughs> this is a hard job, y'all. I'm just saying. You end up, look, we got the queen back here. Have you, have you found any good ones yet? I wish everybody could be my favorite. <laughs> <laughs> there it is right here. And look, look here's the writers over here, y'all. Y'all, y'all finding some good ones? Very good. Very good. Oh, yeah. Uh, they're hard to tell. They're hard to grade. 
And that's what it is, y'all. It's, it's really a tough job doing this. So that's why he's got so many judges. We go through it and we go through it. And that's something I want to tell y'all that uh, probably people don't know. This is our sixth year. I've had a guy that's been in this contest. He come out third. He come out second. He come out third. And he come out second. And he won it last year. So that's how good this judging is. If you good, you come to the top. So we're going to pick a winner soon. When you're hungry and you need something quick to do, join Uncle Larry, Stew and a few. Your day will be here in 20 minutes. Please help me, Uncle Larry. With stew in a few, any stew is possible. Just add the protein. Crawfish stew? You must have been in the kitchen all day. Marilyn. When you're hungry and you need something quick to do, join Uncle Larry, stew in a few. Mark your calendars, break out the camo, and start blowing your duck calls. It's time for the Ascension Chapter of Ducks Unlimited Banquet. Thursday, September 26. Doors open at 5.30 at the Gonzales Civic Center. Sponsor tables and tickets are still available. Bring the family, get together with the guys, or have some after-hours office fun. With great food, auctions, raffle prizes, and gun of the year. It's sure to be a fun night. All proceeds will go to preserving our wetlands for generations to come. See you there. Livingston Mower Supply and Home Center, an authorized Hustler, Bobcat, and Toro lawnmower dealer. Specializing in service, support, and satisfaction. Come see the wide selection of new mowers, parts, string trimmers, blowers, chainsaws, and much more. Our home center features hardware, feed, outdoor cooking supplies, hunting gear, and everything for the do-it-yourself homeowner. Come take a short country drive to the hidden jewel of Livingston and experience real professional knowledge and health. Livingston Mower Supply and Home Center. Now we just finished the beauty pageant and I have four of our queens here and uh, they're going to get to eat some crawfish but first we're going to get their names and where they're from. My name's Anna. I'm 11 years old and I'm from Zachary. I'm Junior Miss. I'm Cheyenne Procell. I'm 15 years old and I'm from Clinton, Louisiana and I'm Teen Miss. I'm your Miss South Louisiana Crawfish Boiling Queen. My name is Mallory Langwa and I am 19 years old from Denham Springs, Louisiana. My name's Emma and I'm six years old and I'm a T Miss South Wind Queen, Crossfish Boiling Queen. And she is a good one too, y'all. And we got some really good ones this year, y'all. And this is, I want y'all to start eating some crawfish while we're talking here. I'm going to talk about it. And they're going to finally get their hands dirty. And uh, they've been in the fancy dresses. And they got the crowns on. And, uh, and the fingers all pretty. And the makeup on and all. So, um, they want to invite everybody out to the South Louisiana Crawfish Ball and Festival. It's going to be our sixth year. And I'm going to tell you what, y'all, this is the uh, first time we had queens, and uh, they picked some really good ones. Um, some of the things that will be going on at the festival, like you all know, is the crawfish balling contest, the jambalaya contest, the mini pot contest, the crackling contest. We have the car show. We have the holy board this year contest, and one of my favorites, the eating contest. And I think these queens are going to be involved in the eating contest also. Uh, it's lots of fun this year. We got the bass tournament. We got all the craft booths. Lots and lots of fun. We got three big bands ending with Chase Tyler. We got Nana Shah. All right. So the champ, the 2019 South Louisiana Crawfish Cooking Jambalaya Mini Pot Champ has ticket number 39921. Zero two. Zero two. Selena email. Go ahead. Alright. Well, we had third place was Bort email. Second place, Jared Burke. And first place, Miss Selena email. How about a big round? Alright. And your 2019 South Louisiana 
Crop is ballin', dreams come true. Cracklin' champ will have ticket number three nine nine two one zero six zero six. Jacob Rome, is that right? Here you go, man. Congratulations. You got the trophy, you got a big pot, and, and a bottle of fuel from Bash Refuel. The 2019 Drake Come True Heavyweight Champion of the World, the Sex Annual Crawfish Ballin' Champ, with 92 points, Team Blago! With first place, 92 points, Team Blago! Come on down, Team Blago! Alright, Team Blago, that's you! It only happens once a year. The Balloon and Boucherie Festival, September 27th through the 29th, at Lamar Dixon Expo Center. Three days and nights of music, food, crafts, balloons, and crackling competition. Air-conditioned vendors and business booths still available, with over 50,000 visitors expected. Sign up before the September 12th deadline. All cooked. You have till September the 19th to sign up for the Cracklin' and Jambalaya Contest. Oh yeah, first place in both contests is $1,000 each. For information and sign up, go to BoucherieFestival.com. It's time to venture out into the wild night for a gathering of good friends, delicious Louisiana seafood, cocktails, and music at the Louisiana Wildlife and Fisheries Foundation Fundraiser. Doors open at 5.30 p.m. Thursday October 10th at Live Oak Arabian Center. Tables and tickets still available. Live and silent auctions with prizes like deer, duck, dove, and alligator hunts. Guided saltwater trips, catered dinners, and outdoor adventure trips, just to name a few. Come be a part of the mission to enhance the use of the wildlife and fisheries resources in Louisiana. All right, y'all. What a great day at the Crawfish Festival. It, it's so many things that we don't get to show everything. We don't get to see every little thing out here and put it on TV, but you get to see the winners, you get to see the people, you get to see the good fun that goes on, and you'll get to know how much money we made. We'll put it on the screen when you get to see the show. So I want to thank everybody for watching. I want to thank all the volunteers that come out here. It's, it's one big event and it takes a year to get it together and it takes one whole day to put it on. So I want to thank everybody for watching Cajun Living and Cooking, and we'll see you next week.